Hello. This is a multi-purpose video. Um, one, show you how I repurpose my Nano Control 2 to work with the iPad Sunday Keys app. Two, how I use my Sunday Keys app on iPad. Maybe you want to use it the same. And three, I'll give you a closer look on what dongle and interface I'm using here. How I'm connecting everything to the sound system. Uh, first up, Nano Control 2 has eight sliders and each slider has three buttons with a, a dial for each one. I've mapped that out to correspond with each sound. So each set of slider and three buttons and dial, I have it corresponding with the, the slider, three buttons with an optional button. Uh, what I mean by that is, I'll go into MIDI Learn. Uh, let's see, on sound five here, I'm able to map that button to the dial. So it's mapped. I'll press done. Look at that button there. As I'm twisting the dial, it turns that button on, which is fantastic. So essentially, each set here is a sound. And let's see. So eight sliders. I've added eight sounds per one patch. And I absolutely love this. One reason is the snapshots. So going from left to right, I've mapped it to where the bottom five buttons here correspond to the five snapshots here. And what I've done sp more specifically is on the left side, so snapshot one, I've done more quieter sounds. And then as I go to the second and third, I'll start adding some more pads and string or uh, keys to that Wurlitzer. And by the third patch, Wurlitzer is going down. Oops. And uh, now it's mainly keys with a little bit of subwoofer. And I'll scoot this over because as I go closer to four, it'll bring in some organ. And then by the fifth, I'm adding some, maybe a little extra organ and a whiny sign for some aggressive sounds on some, some big parts to some songs. Anyways, so I love that feature because it's a lot of eight sounds for one patch. And honestly, what I'm able to do with that is while this is here, I have it pretty much memorized what sounds are in, on which dial. So I have Sunday Keys running in the background while I'm playing my song. Thank you, Ellie. Appreciate it. So whatever song I'm doing, I'm able to just be on the chords and lyrics for the song and just know that, hey, this is keys. This is sub bass. I mean, if you play it enough times, you, you, you got it memorized anyways. So that is a brief snapshot of what I am doing. If you have questions, you can go in the comments. Uh, one issue that I had, I'm gonna go to settings, I'm gonna hit MIDI. Uh, I needed to make my, uh, my keyboard MIDI channel one for some reason, uh, otherwise it didn't work. I wasn't able to have the keyboard on the second MIDI controller. It had to be on the first one. So that means my second MIDI controller is the uh, the Nano Control 2. And that's what it says there. It might be tough to see. I just realized. All right, I'll give you a look at what my setup is just a little bit. So I have a dongle here and it's powered up by a power source going to the iPad USB to the oh shoot you can't see <laughs> uh, a USB to the nano control 2 as well as a USB to my PreSonus USB 96 interface something simple I currently have my 
MIDI cable going from the keyboard to the in. So actually my primary MIDI controller is going to be the audio box USB 96, which is the that interface there. Ooh, that is mostly it. I know that was really quick. Maybe I'll do a different, better video, but for now, bye-bye.